ओके स्टॉप करता हूँ फिर वेलकम बैक ऑल माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल पोएम द नेम ऑफ द पोएम इज द लेक आई ऑफ इन स्प्री दिस पोएम इज रिटन बाय डब्ल्यू बी इट्स ही इज नोन एज अ रोमांटिक पोएट ही वॉज बॉर्न इन एटीन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी फाइव इन आयरलैंड सो दैट ही वॉज एन आयरिश पोएट ही गॉट नोबेल प्राइज for literature in 1923 and he became famous as a modern romantic poet so it was the brief introduction about the poet now i am going to explain the very first stanza of the poem the poem begins like that i will arise and go now and go to inis free students here i is pronoun and it refers for the poet it means that in this great work of art the poet is present himself as i in this particular line the poet is expressing that he will arise and go now it means that he will wake up arise arise means wake up and he will go further he will go ahead because Uh, he don't like uh, city life he presently is living in city but uh, city's life is very complex uh, according to him it is very busy and artificial life so that uh, he is disliking the city life that's why he wants to live his life presently in um, in a countryside that it means village area Uh, so that he has decided uh, to go to Innisfree. Students, Innisfree is an uninhabited island. It means that there is no uh, any people living there. So that uh, the poet wants to go this particular place because, according to him, this particular place is uh, a lonely place. It it's a very uh, natural place, full of green ridge. and uh, there is loneliness so that the the poet likes it very much uh, now let's see the very second line of this poem and a small cabin built there of clay and waters made in this line the poet is expressing his idea that uh, to go there to go at this lonely place he will build a small cabin it means that a uh, he will build a very small house there by himself uh, of clay and wattles made he will make this beautiful house by clay it means that uh, he will make the house uh, with uh, smooth uh, uh, soil and wattles uh, he will make the house using some sticks also nine bean rows i will i have there a high for the honey bee it means that he will also grow some beans there in different rows um, because he has to survive there by his self effort so that he will grow bean there and uh, i have there for a hive for the honey bee there for his survival he will also need some honey so that uh, he wants to um, uh, put some honey uh, uh, he also he wants to make some hive for that that's why some honey will come there and usually they will visit there and they will create some buzzing sound there and the buzzing sound made by the bees will uh, refresh him it will uh, give him so much enjoyment in his life and live alone in the bee loud glade ultimately he says that he uh, he will he would like to live there lonely in that open space glade means open space in the forest uh, in this way i hope that students you will un have understood the very first stanza of the poem now let's see the next stanza of the poem which begins like that and i shall have some peace there for peace dropping slow it means it means that i will go there in the crave of peace because i have some lust i want some peace in my life so that uh, i will go there um, uh, because according to him peace comes in one's life gradually it comes very slowly 
so dropping dropping slow word is written here here dropping slow from the wheels of the morning to where the cricket sings it means that uh, dropping so from the wheels means the first ray of the sun it will come there and uh, it will make him happy uh, of the morning where the cricket sings at this particular moment when the morning time will be there cricket uh, will, will insect will sing there it will make him very happy uh, because he like cricket singing it's very musical to him there midnight all a glee glimmer and noon a purple glow it means that the midnight of that particular place will be very exciting it will be full of light glimmer means soft light and a noon a purple glow it means that the noon will be purplish glow it it means that the sun rays will come very nicely there uh, so that he will enjoy the sun rays very nicely in that area and evening full of the linnet wings this line refers here the evening will be also very exciting and enjoyable because linnet it's a kind of musical bird and it's very beautiful bird when the evening time will come he will see its wings its beautiful sights it will make him very happy now let's see the last stanza of the poem i will arise and go now for always night and day it means that it will be a very beautiful and exciting place for me so that usually i would like to go there because it's very exciting for place for me i hear lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore in this line the poet is saying that he himself would like to hear the the soft sound made by the lake water uh, which will strike the sea shore and uh, this particular sound will make him happy all the time while i stand on the roadways or on the pavements gray i hear it in the deep heart score it means that whenever i will go roadways or whenever i will go on the footpaths pavements means here footpaths i will uh, recall this memory this beautiful memory in, inside my mind and i will never forget it mm. and at last i hear it in the deep heart score it means that i will i will hear this uh, a uh, sound this soothing sound of the lapping of the water all the time and it will make him me very enjoyable it will make me exciting i so that here's the main explanation of the poem i hope that you have enjoyed the poem very nicely and uh, go through all these lines very nicely and enjoy the poem that's all from my side thank you